Hey everyone, it's Charmaine and welcome back to my channel. So today's video was requested by Alicia and she requested that I review some of Neogen's products, specifically their green tea cleansing stick, their pore refine serum, and their rice and sake peel activator. But before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please click that subscribe button down below. Any and all support is greatly appreciated. I purchased all three of these products off of socoglam.com and I'll go ahead and link that down in the description for you guys. But luckily I was already using two out of three products with those two being the green tea cleansing stick and the pore refine serum. So the only new product that I had to introduce into my routine was the rice and sake peel. The first one we'll review is the Neogen green tea real fresh cleansing stick and I purchased it for $22. This was created by the co-founder of Soko Glam, Charlotte Cho, and it was created to be a travel-friendly product that actually won the 2017 Teen Vogue Acne Award. So the green tea cleansing stick was actually formulated to be kind of like an oil cleanser so that you didn't have to bring an oil cleanser along with your water-based cleanser with you if you were traveling or going to the gym. Green tea is also its main ingredient which is known to help fight premature aging, inflammation, and acne. It has a low pH between 5.5 and 6 which is important because cleansers with a high pH tend to dry out the skin and give you that tight feeling that a lot of people dislike. 13 out of the 22 ingredients are natural oils such as coconut, camilla seed, olive, meadow foam seed, evening primrose seed, which is going to help calm and soothe the skin, lime, basil, lemon peel, and orange peel, both of which have brightening qualities, and sunflower seed oil. So if you're traveling or you're going to the gym, you can use this and get a fresh, clean face that's equivalent to using an oil cleanser and a water-based cleanser, but on only one step. Crushed green tea leaves gently exfoliate your skin, but also dry back up to provide exfoliation at every use and not become mushy over time. And it does have a light floral scent. Charlotte Cho explains that it's supposed to smell slightly of roses. To use, you're going to rub the stick in small gentle circles all over a damp face, then massage the product into the skin and gently rinse with lukewarm water. I really like this cleanser. I tried it for the first time after bringing it with me to California back in October. It doesn't overstrip my face, which is a must have quality for me in my cleansers. So would I repurchase this? Yes, for me. So I have oily, acne prone and sensitive skin. So for my cleansers, I don't really necessarily need it to have like a lot of acne fighting um, ingredients. This has the green tea which does do that, but for me it's more important to have a cleanser that I know is not going to overstrip my face. Later in my routine I can apply any other you know acne treatments or moisturizers, so for me it's important not to overstrip my face. I only use this at night. I started practicing not using a cleanser in the morning and just rinsing with lukewarm water and then patting in the water and letting it air dry. But yes, I would definitely repurchase. It's super convenient and I highly suggest it. Next up, we have the Neogen Rice Peel and Sake Activator that I purchased for $33. It's not an actual peel, but more of an exfoliator. And I've been using this for the last two weeks. So Neogen is known for creating products that cater towards sensitive skin types. But if you have incredibly sensitive skin, I don't recommend this peel for your face just because I think it's going to be too harsh and it will likely cause some irritation for you. If you have normal combination or oily skin, in her review of the product, Charlotte Cho recommends using it about like once a week or like every other week. Um, the directions on the website said to use it twice a week, so that's what I did for the last two weeks. The real rice powder provides natural brightening and smoothing benefits, while the sake is also going to brighten along with its clarifying benefits. The rice powder is also ground into a circular shaped grain in order to prevent micro tears in the skin, which can happen if you're not using an exfoliant that has the proper um, ingredients in it. When you put the sake activator on top of it, it creates a fizzy, warm, yet also kind of like burning sensation that I found to be kind of uncomfortable. I'm actually trying to steer away from physical exfoliators and using more chemical exfoliators to be a little more gentler with my skin. So at first I was a little hesitant to try this, but I can understand the importance of a physical exfoliant and being able to really slough off all those dead skin cells. So I would probably use this once or twice a month. It says to apply step one on a dry face, but I do it on a 
lightly damp one. I find it easier and a little less abrasive. But you take a small scoop of step one, which is the rice peel. You're going to gently massage that onto your face for about one minute. After that, you'll take step two, which is the activator sake, and you'll place about eight drops total on your entire face, so about one or two drops on your forehead, cheeks, nose, and chin, and then you're going to spread that out pretty evenly. After that, the peel is going to begin to bubble. Your face will probably start to feel warm, or for me, I start to experience kind of like a burning sensation. Once that occurs, you'll massage it onto your skin for one or two minutes, and then gently rinse with lukewarm water. Both of these have like very strong perfumey smells. The rice peel kind of reminds me of like a sweet, buttery body lotion scent. I know it sounds kind of weird. That's just what it reminds me of. While the activator sake kind of has this like carbonated tamarind candy. I don't know if you've ever had like Mexican candy or tamarind candy. That's just kind of what it reminds me of. Would I repurchase this? Probably not, mostly just because I'm trying to steer away from a lot of physical exfoliators. To finish this off, I'm just going to continue using it like once or twice a month. But if again, if you have really sensitive skin, I don't recommend this. It is very, very abrasive. But it did what it said. My face was incredibly smooth and so like stupid smooth. It was really smooth. It was so bright and glowy. It does exactly what it says it's going to do. It's just that the exfoliating part of it, the rice peel, I feel is really harsh on my skin. And then the burning sensation, and you guys will be able to see in the video, it turns your face pink. It turned me very pink. It was, you know, the burning sensation was pretty uncomfortable. So because of that, no, I probably won't repurchase this. Lastly, we have the Neogen Pore Refine Serum, and you can purchase it for $37 on SoCoGlam.com. I've already discussed this product in my Blackhead Beauty Haul video, and I'll link that in the description as well for you guys. But I'll still go ahead and briefly review it, especially now that I've had more time to use it. Herbal extracts such as Witch Hazel, Camellia Sinensis Leaf Extract, and Portolaca Oleracea Extract help to calm the skin, reducing redness from irritation and blemishes. The serum also helps to purify and regulate sebum production, so it's going to help fight acne and work to give you clearer skin, and because it reduces sebum, it will also help reduce pore size. It has a watery gel-like consistency, which allows it to absorb quickly into the skin, but also leave a matte finish without your skin feeling dry. There's also no sticky, oily film left on your skin that you would get using like a typical thicker serum. After cleansing and toning, you'll apply one to two pumps all over your face and gently pat it into the skin until fully absorbed. I love this. If you have sensitive, oily prone skin, I highly recommend this. So yes, I would definitely repurchase it. Again, it's a serum, but it's not a heavy, thick, oily serum. All those terms that usually come to mind when you think of serums, this is not like that. Just a warning though, it does have a pretty strong alcoholic scent to it, which I was like, you know, alcohol, you know, that's like the last ingredient you really want put into your products. So if you're not a huge fan of that whatsoever, then no, I don't recommend this. The alcohol smell does kind of throw this off for me a little bit. It is one major con to it. But besides that, it does exactly what it says. It absorbs very quickly into my skin. It leaves a matte finish without my face feeling dry. It controls my oil throughout the day. As for the pore refining part, I find that this helps when after I'm done using like an exfoliator or like a pore treatment, this kind of helps maintain the small pore size. So it doesn't necessarily shrink it on its own in my opinion. It just helps kind of maintain the results you get from other pore shrinking products. Alright you guys, that's it for this Neogen review. Go ahead and leave a comment down below if you've tried any of these, which one you're most excited to try after seeing this video, or if there's another Neogen product that you recommend. But with that said, don't forget to click that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.